Have you ever wondered what the secret of crop circles really is? Today, in, in my thoughts about these things, the Lord revealed something very obvious to me concerning crop circles. Now, before I tell you um, what, exactly what they are, I'd just like to mention that um, the outgoing, the outgone, should I say, Prime Minister of England, uh, Mr Tony Blair, which I'm sure most of you um, have at least heard of, said some very strange uh, things before he left. And one of the very strange things that he said was that we have to be on the lookout for people who may come and try and change the way things are. Now what could have been possibly talking about? Now the Holy Scripture tells us that God will pour out his spirit on his children in the end days and they shall dream dreams and see visions. And the Lord also told us that there is nothing hidden that shall remain hidden or nothing that has been concealed that shall not be made known abroad. So all the prophecies of God, of course, must come true. And I believe that um, what Mr. Blair was saying there um, in his cryptic fashion uh, was that the time is now that these people are now appearing um, now are being shown things by God and all of these things are now coming abroad. The secrets of the Freemasons, for instance, are falling apart on a daily basis. Now let's just look at um, another of these secrets, which is again directly linked to Freemasonry, which actually started back in Babylon um, and not in the 1700s, as you've been told. Babylon is the mother of all prostitutes and abominations of the earth. And the great prostitute, the whore of Babylon, is masonry. Because masonry is a worldwide trade union. They are a union of people. They are one body. They are the body of the whore of Babylon. And that trade union is involved in controlling all the trade throughout the world. For instance, um, you may remember the Soviet Union. It was a trade union. Trade was only allowed within those borders. We now have the European Union. And trade, again, is strictly controlled by this union, by this trade union. And there's the North American uh, Union that seems to be about to happen. And all of these things are trade unions. And the largest trade union in the world is Freemasonry. Their signs and symbols are absolutely everywhere. And they all pertain to the same thing. The wing disc, the horn disc and the pyramid, which is the mark of the beast. Now, if you look at these crop circles, you will see that the designs are all um, Babylonian, Egyptian, Assyrian, Sumerian, uh, Mayan. They're all the same thing over and over again. And they all pertain back to the same thing, the planet Nibiru and flying saucer craft. This is... Uh, the all-seeing eye. So the secret of crop circles is simply that these people or these creatures are placing these Babylonian satanic Masonic marks on crops, on wheat. And Jesus told us the parable of the wheat and the tares. Now what they are doing there is symbolically marking the wheat with the mark of the beast, which are these Babylonian uh, symbologies. This is what they are doing with the crop circles. It is a satanic ritual um, pertaining to marking the people of God with the mark of the beast.